775. I'm adding another inverter to the power shed and to the wall here. This is the new Solark 5K-1P. It's a single phase 120 volt hybrid inverter and I uh, just installed it, just turned it on and you can see it's uh, running here. So let me show you a little bit about what I've done. So the first thing we, uh, we wanted to make sure we had a battery. I've had this uh, these Rubix batteries around here for a while. Um, my buddy James sent them to me for testing. So I had some 48 volt lithiums kicking around. So thought I would uh, use them. So they're full paralleled and connected to this hybrid inverter. You can put any battery on it you'd want as long as it's a 48 volt configuration. Um, so very similar format and look. It's a lot smaller. This thing's very narrow. Uh, it's a lot smaller inverter compared to the 15K. It's probably half the size, two thirds of a 12K. But very similar in function and features, uh, on off switch, master PV switch, Wi-Fi dongle, battery hookups, uh, the MPPT connections for your solar. So I went ahead and put about four kilowatts of solar on this guy for testing today. We're actually running some 120 volt loads just here. We got an air conditioner, we got a mini split, some lights and receptacles. We're basically running the power shed off, off the 15, I mean, oh, sorry, off the 5K unit and no problems. So just gonna button this up, but I wanted to show you before I button it up what we did. So there's a few things on this that is different than the other Solarks is that they're there's really no overcurrent protection on the on the grid, the load, and so we have overcurrent protection for the load side in our panel, and then on the grid side, I actually have a double pole 40. I'm just picking up one leg off of that, so I can bring in 40 amps into the 5K. Okay, so I have no grid support, very little solar. We're running only on batteries. So we're running on these little Rubix, Rubix lithium life posts, running electric water heater, making some hot water, and cooking. What was that? Oh, that's the other inverter. We're also running the 15K simultaneously. So we're just having fun. So pretend this is a tiny house or cabin with hot water. You're cooking at the same time. We are running the lights in here. We're running the air conditioner. I just cranked that down. So we're running a 4.6 kilowatt load on batteries only. That's pretty good. That is not bad. So we'll see. Yeah, pretty soon we got the PRV, so hopefully it won't blow things up. All right, so we didn't overload it yet on batteries. All right, let's shut those off. All right, here we are trying to overload this poor little inverter. I just put it on the wall and now I'm trying to kill it. So we are going to run a water heater. We're gonna run a hot plate. We're gonna run a shop vac. We're gonna run a mini split, which is already running as a base load. Well, I just got a heat gun. We got a battery charger. I'm gonna turn everything on and we'll see what we can do here. So loads going on. And I'm going to that bump this up to what are we at, Eli? We're gonna go should be higher than that. Yeah, 4.6. Let's we'll see if we kick it over. Here we go. That much. Okay, so after our testing day on the Solark 5K running all sorts of loads, it we did overload it. Um, it's hard to tell exactly, but about five and a half kilowatts it kicked out, but I put on it a shop back load, which is around 1600 watts. So it might have made it to six, but with the combination of everything that was running, um, it did do it give me an AC over voltage at around 5.5, 5 .5, yeah, AC overload fault which um, Solark told me to do that. So that's why I did that for you. Um, so anyway, I can put, you can put 10 kilowatts of solar on this little guy. It has uh, two MPPTs, 500 volt strings. And so it's very capable. 
It's got 50 amp pass through on the grid. And right now we're just uh, using solar. We're, again, I'm running the power shed with it and made a separate 120 volt pad panel with uh, the ability to test it and running on a lithium battery. So applications for this, why are we doing this? Why is Solark, why did Solark do this? Um, so whether you're, this would be great for an RV, for a tiny house, a cabin, uh, anywhere, whether you have shore power or not, grid power or not, it's, uh, we've run it in all its modes. It, it can actually sell back. Uh, has no problem closed loop communicating with lithium batteries. And a lot of people are asking, why not a 12 volt battery set up? Well, if you think about getting one of the a lithium batteries, they're small enough, they're not that much bigger than a couple of 12 volts. So get one lithium and you'll be fine. And yes, it's a 48 volt battery setup. So it has a lot of the same interface and software and uh, layout as a Solark 8, 12, 15 K inverter. So um, anyway, it's super smooth. It's also, we're connected to the internet so you can actually monitor this thing remotely. So that's another benefit of going with a consistent similar platform. Just this little sneak peek before RE Plus out in Anaheim on the uh, 19th of this month of September. We do have it on our website if you want to check it out. Pricing is going to be close to four grand, I think. So it is a little high. And a lot of people say, why? Why that? You could just go buy a, a day inverter or some other inverter. And well, you're paying for the name, you're paying for the tech support, you're paying for the software, you're paying for all the improvements, things that people don't think about, ground fault protection, arc fault protection, all sorts of things on this inverter that you don't get on other inverters plus the tech support if these other inverters go down who are you going to call you might as well buy two or three of those other cheaper inverters and they just don't work as smoothly as solar sorry that's just from working with them for six to seven years now so this is just a great little inverter for 120 volt loads and you can get everything 120 volt loads from air conditioning to water pumps to water heaters so there's no reason that you can't do your remote cabin with it and maybe you just want a small system at your house and you have grid power you can do that too so um, maybe you'll let me know what application you think it's good for so um, that's about it for from me I uh, hope to see some of you folks out at uh, SPI RE plus whatever you want to call it I'm really looking forward to bringing Elijah with me and uh, enjoying the show. So I'm staying the whole time because I want to spend enough time at every booth I can just learning the new tech and just uh, networking with uh, other like-minded solar folks. All right, Engineer 775 signing out. Let me know if you have any questions.